So, you want me to do a video on 47 Beavers on the Big Blue Sea with the CD? Well, you want it, you got it. So yeah, um, multiple viewers really wanted the book 47 Beavers on the Big Blue Sea on YouTube. Um, I think there's some other YouTubers that had these, like, a few years ago. This hasn't happened until, like, about, I don't know, 2015, 2016? I don't know. But, with that being said, yeah, there's only one track. This track's 5 minutes, 47 seconds. And this is the read-along story, so, um, I got this as a birthday gift, um, for some reason. And before we start the track, we're gonna read this. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for the toil. <coughs> for if they fall, one will lift up the other. As, I don't know if I can pronounce that. Four, nine, ten. Forty-seven are even better than two. Phil. Okay, we're going to start the track now, so let's play it. I set the volume as well. It's set. Okay. Three, two, one, play. Deep in the Northwest Territory, where the woods look down on the Western Sea, and the trappers trap so merrily, for the streams are oh so beavery. One day in 1842, a trapper by the name of Stu came down to the beach and said, Hello, I need a boat or a big canoe. I need a lift on down the coast to the nearest beaver trading post where they'll shake my hand and raise a toast to Trapper Stu who trapped the most. So he piled what he caught in a rather small boat and asked the young sailor to give him a quote. No way, said the sailor with fear in his throat. There's too many beavers. It ain't gonna float. And as they debated man to man, the beavers developed a curious plan. And the beavers pulled up oh. on the oars and the beavers rowed away from shore and the beavers two and the beavers three. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. <laughs> no one thought that beavers were capable of scheming. If you'd say they'll row away, most folks would say you're dreaming. But here they were, and there they went, across the briny blue, calling out a cadence like a real Olympic crew. For a week or two, the beaver crew rode the Great Pacific, till from the north a storm blew in with winds that were terrific. And one by one their oars blew off and vanished, mercy me! And 47 beavers were left bobbing in the sea. <laughs> well, the Excuse beavers me. bobbed upon the sea, and the beavers sobbed in misery. And the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. cried we feel like noah in his ark then their bad got worse because they were staring at a shark alas alack we're doomed they wailed the shark showed his incisors adrift at sea and now will be a fishy's appetizers then one small beaver stood and faced the others from the bow he said, our time will come someday, but it ain't coming now. When we all work together, there's a lot that we can do. So let's show that big bully that we got incisors too. Ninety-four big beaver teeth flashed out from the boat. One old shark was so surprised, his heart jumped in his throat. Never mind, he muttered as he vanished in the blue. It's no fun biting dinner if your dinner's biting you. Well, the beavers flashed their pearly whites, and the shark, he vanished out of sight. And the beavers, two, and the beavers, three. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. I don't know if you can, viewers can see the whole book. Um, maybe you can, but I don't know. Let's continue on. That's good, they said, but we're still stuck. We'll die here on a reef. Not so fast, the young one said. God gave us more than teeth. With that, he jumped back to the stern and dangled down his tail and started slapping water like a little beaver whale. Soon the others joined him, and with all that beaver power, their little boat was skimming waves at 40 miles an hour. And the beaver 
beavers slap their big flat tails, and the beavers race like killer whales, and the beavers two, and the beavers three, 47 beavers on the big blue sea. Three more weeks went by, and soon they all began to mope. We're getting tired of paddling, we're starting to lose hope. Then ahead they saw a sight that made them holler, Wowie! Forty-seven beavers had just discovered Maui. They hit the land and kissed the sand, a sign of their thanksgiving. But soon began to mope again, how will we make a living? This island ain't for beavers, and we're not pedicurists. I got it, cried the little guy. We'll entertain the tourists. So the beavers built a beaver lodge, and the tourists came for food and fudge. And the beavers, to what do you know? Forty-seven beavers in a dinner show. Forty-seven beavers in a dinner show. So why'd I tell this story? What's the point for me and you? We might find ourselves someday trapped by Trapper Stew, or staring down our own big sharks, or facing nasty weather. But we've been blessed, and things go best when we all work together. And the beavers pulled up on the oars, and the beavers rowed away from shore, and the beavers two, and the beavers three. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. Forty-seven beavers on the big blue sea. Well, that was enjoyable. I really enjoyed this a lot. It was really good. Yeah, and there's the disc right here, as you can see it. I put it in before making this video, so... Oh, gotta put it back in the in the slot or something, whatever it's called. <laughs> Alright, get this in there. Boom. Okay, that's about it for this video. Um... Yeah. I'm very glad we had to do this. Wait, I have to set this back to phonograph. Okay, there we go. Anyway, viewers, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really good to make this video just because I wanted to catch up. Okay, thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next video. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out.